here. We made it. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you don't know, my name is Charlie Jacob Goldberg. I am your on-air extraordinaire, man. And what a night we have tonight, live on the set of, of Charlie Goldberg Live, man. What a night we have tonight, as we have a very special interview with the man who has made it in the top eight boys on American Idol of season 10. He's opened up for Shawn Mendes, Jake Miller, and Melanie Martinez in concert. He's been featured on CBS TV's March Madness and MTV's CSTK. His original Wasted Love has 1.5 million streams on Spotify. It also came number 16 on the Italian dance charts, Mamma Mia. His original Live Like Tonight has 1.2 million streams on Spotify. He is an alumni of Calhoun High School. He is an avid fan of the Calhoun Media Club. From Long Island, New York, he is Robbie Rosen. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for joining us. Robbie Rosen, my guest tonight. Robbie, thank you so much for being on the show. How are you today? I'm good, buddy. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Of course, it's my pleasure. And what a night we have tonight. And we're going to kick things off with a bang, Robbie. We're going to play a game inspired by Jimmy Fallon and The Tonight Show. This game is called Mute Whisper Challenge, right? So I'm going to be pressing that mute button. I'm going to be saying some words, and you have to guess what the words I'm saying are. Peace, you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Is it banjo? Hey, okay. Oh God! But, um, something with a B. Bicycle. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, uh, one more time. <laughs> oh my God! Bahamas. I have no idea. <laughs> well, uh, a little hint is you did not beat that answer, Michael Jackson. Um, <laughs> would you like to go? I will, I will do one. Yes. All right. Let me see. So, so I go on mute and I mouth something. All right. Let's try this. Uh, I got to think of a word first. Okay. This should be an easy one. Here we go. Repeat that. I hop. <laughs> I wish it was an easy Christmas. Close. <laughs> Want to do it one more time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it right, one more time. Hanukkah. Close. <laughs> Holidays. So close. Very close. Thanksgiving, Kwanzaa. I just said holidays. <laughs> oh, holidays. Okay. Yep, I was yep. what close else? enough. A great fun game to kick off the night. And Robbie, I got some questions to ask you here off my phone. So, Robbie, right. let's talk. You were 16 years old and you auditioned for American Idol. You made it to the semifinals and you came in the top eight out of all the guys in the show. That's absolutely incredible. What was it like being on that show? Thank you. Yeah, it was a mind blowing experience. So grateful uh, for everything the show has given me um, from the exposure just to the life experience to you know, being on stage in front of so many people. Uh, it was definitely the best decision I've ever made. And um, like I said, I wouldn't, you know, <laughs> I don't know where I'd be without it right now. My career is really, um, I owe it to the show 100%. That's incredible. And you know, shows like that, they make stars. And uh, you, my friend, are a star. Thank so you. what inspired you to become that star? Uh, first of all, I appreciate that. And, and second, I mean, I music was always in my blood. It kind of chose me. I didn't really choose it. Uh, my mom has, you know, always, uh, yeah, she, she was a singer since, uh, you know, probably 25, 25 years, 26 years with my uncle. They were in a group called Sibling Harmony. And she was always kind of instilled that passion for singing in me. Uh, my dad, always he has a way of words. He's not really a songwriter or, or he doesn't really do music, but he's um, he's such like a great, um, just like speech writer when he gives speeches at like his school or whatever. And he, um, I guess I kind of got the best of both worlds from both parents. And um, yeah, just really uh, translated into me doing what I love uh, every day, the writing and the singing and performing and everything. That's absolutely incredible. It seems like you got the right genes for the job, my friend. <laughs> Very lucky. <laughs> so American Idol, right? Your judges were Randy Jackson, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith and J-Lo. Now say you had to go back in time and you had the power to replace one of the judges. And you not only had the power to replace one of the judges, you had the power to also replace them with another celebrity. Who would you replace and who would you replace them with? Ooh, that's a great question. I, man, I loved all three. 
I would opt for the add a fourth judge instead of replacing. <laughs> but I would go with uh, Stevie Wonder. He's always been my idol. Um, just the soul in his voice, the the brilliant songwriting, and uh, just I mean, I that that he changed my life listening to his music. Uh, so I'd go with him, hundred uh, percent. Well, I definitely wouldn't wonder. I see what I did there. If I think that even with Stevie Wonder, you would have went far. I would have not done that at all. So your original Wasted Love had 1.5 million streams on Spotify, an absolutely incredible achievement. What was that like seeing your phone your phone just blow up with streaming? It, yeah, I mean, it was definitely very exciting. Uh, that was my biggest song for a long time. I actually had one this year that just passed that, which is exciting, uh, called Come Alive. Um, but yeah, Wasted Love was really my first uh, big one, really my first EDM song ever that I released four years ago, almost five years ago now. And um, yeah, it really set in motion in everything I'm doing uh, in the EDM world now. And uh, yeah, never thought, you know, kid doing ballads on Idol would be doing dance music, but hey, here we are, 20, <laughs> almost 2021. So that's pretty cool. It cannot turn to 2021 enough in enough time. Well, anyway, so you talked about Come Alive, and I think this next question is gonna come alive right now. Talk to me about that song and what the meaning of it was. Yeah, I mean, it relates a lot to what we're all going through right now with the pandemic. Uh, you know, basically just looking inside you and realizing that as difficult a situation as, as we might be in, uh, knowing that we all can overcome and come alive and kind of, you know, get through whatever obstacles in our way. Um, it's all about kind of finding that light and, and, you know, finding within ourselves because, you know, absolutely important to ask for help, but we also are very strong, you know, individuals, everybody is. And uh, I feel like we can, we can pretty much make it through anything in our path. So. And in the spirit of Hanukkah, we got to let our light shine, my friend. So, absolutely. You recorded some great songs. My personal favorites being Bad Love, Low Love, and of course come alive so but what is your favorite Ooh, i man i feel like all of them have their own their own thing i mean come alive again being my biggest i i'm just i love that one sick individual shout out to my boys they're amazing uh producers and um yeah i mean i i love them all for different reasons that one in particular just happened to really really take off but um yeah i have another one called love with your love that i just released on uh, last Friday, and that one's uh, starting to climb a little bit. So, yeah, I'm just I, I'm excited about every every collaboration I do. The producers are incredible, and uh, just the whole overall experience of getting the song from start to finish is my favorite process. So, that's amazing. That's amazing. Well, uh, Robbie, I'm gonna go a little gossip girl on you for this next question. If you had to take any celebrity out on a date, I know I take Ariana Grande out on a date. She has my number. But if you were to take any celebrity out on a date, who would it be? Uh, oof, man, let's see. Uh, I'd say, man, that's a tough question. Selena Gomez, maybe? She's. I feel like she's really sweet and super talented, and obviously very cute. So I, I would go with. I would go with her. Well, definitely, and I'll pay for Selena Gomez's meal in full. Definitely. <laughs> well, obviously, the pandemic has affected all of us, and especially for artists. You know, with the, the taking away of concerts, it's kind of been tough. For artists, what have you been doing as of late in the pandemic? Yeah, I, I mean, I actually got one performance in during the pandemic. It was a socially distant outdoor summer event. Um, so that was that was great, but far and few between, unfortunately. Uh, I've just been recording nonstop. I released between fifty and sixty songs this year. It's been insane, uh, and you know, luckily, I've still been able to do what I love, even if it's more behind the scenes. But yeah, I mean, I feel for so many people who depend on touring, you know, that was never, I mean, I've, I've done some tours before, but it's never really my go-to, you know, a hundred shows a year. And I really feel for those musicians who, you know, they make their living that way. So yeah, I just pray that they've found other ways to monetize their music, but definitely a tough year for, uh, for everybody, so. Definitely, definitely. And uh, I really respect your admiration and, and really your point of view on the pandemic, seeing the good and everything. And you know what else is good, my friend? Music. We talked about your favorite personal song of yours, but what's your favorite overall song? Favorite overall song? Ah, oh, man. I mean, I said Stevie Wonder. I love I miss, love so many different types of music. Isn't She Lovely is one of my go-tos. Uh, obviously, yesterday, my Beatles audition song, my idol audition song by the Beatles. That was one of my faves. Um, Skyscraper, Demi Lovato. I love the message of that. Just so many, Rise Up, Andre Day. There's so many great, great songs. 
There is so many great songs. And you, my friend, have sang a lot. So, <laughs> you went to Calhoun High School. In my opinion, the greatest high school ever. I'm going to be the one there in about a year. So, Calhoun High School, talk to me about your experience there, the staff, the faculty, everything. Yeah, the best experience I could have ever asked for. They really, I mean, taught me so much, just obviously academically, but I think we're more, even more than that, just there you know, as a support system through Idol, through everything, um, through all my sports, you know, through baseball and uh, played basketball for, I believe, a year or two as well. So it was, yeah, I mean, just the, the teachers, the administration, um, I couldn't have asked for anything more. They, like, I miss those days so much. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a great, great school, great people. And uh, yeah, it's like a second home to me. That's absolutely incredible. And just like you playing baseball, going to Calhoun, the home run. The, so, there we're going to play a quick game because all the fans want to know the answers to this question. So, pancakes or waffles? Mm. I'm going to go with pancakes. Billy Joel or Elton John? Billy Joel. Of course. Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Of course. Moe's or Chipotle? Ooh, dang. Ah, uh, oh, man. Uh, we're going to go, we're going to go Chipotle. Wow, a very controversial answer. Charlie Goldberg or all other talk show hosts? Obviously, Charlie Goldberg. That's the correct answer. So Spotify or Apple Music? Uh, go on Spotify. And finally, vanilla or chocolate? If we're going vanilla. Robbie Rosen, thank you so much for all of your time here tonight, but you're not done just yet. You have a very special treat for everyone who's stuck to the end of this video. I heard that you're going to perform. I'm going to sing a little uh, little Beatles yesterday. That's my go-to uh, audition, see if I can still sing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's, let's try this out. Let's see. Let us do it. All right, give a little acapella rendition here. Let's see. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in yesterday. Why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say. I said something wrong. Now I long for yesterday. Absolutely incredible, Mr. Rosen. Thank you so much again for being on the show. Good night, everybody.